Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Happy December. Happy December. Today I am coming to you with my November favorites. I have lots and lots of WW food favorites. We have a little bit of home slash holiday. We have a beauty. We have a lot of stuff to share in today's video. So if you're excited for another favorites, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click, click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do a monthly favorites every single month. Down in the description box, you will find every linked that I share with you today with the exception of things that can be found at your local grocery store. You're also going to find my 2022 calendar. It is the only calendar that you need for 2022. Track your life, your goals, and even track your water, food, self-care, and activity. Love, love, love this calendar. It turned out better than I thought that it would. It is limited edition, so make sure you get yours before it's gone. You'll also find on my nutrition coaching website, Website, my four recipe ebooks, nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you want to chat with me directly, links, discounts to all my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. Oh, and one last thing. I know I'm going to get some questions on my camo jacket. Every time I wear this, a lot of you reach out and ask where you can pick this up. This particular jacket that I'm wearing is no longer available, but I found a really good dupe for this on Amazon that's actually much more affordable. So I'll link that down below for you guys as well. So let's jump in to this month's favorites. because I can get them back into my refrigerator and freezer. And I know that a lot of you are here for the WW Foods. So the first thing I wanna share with you is this amazing dip from Trader Joe's. This is the caramelized onion dip. Now we purchased this for a little Halloween get together we had at our house and put this on a charcuterie board. This dip is so good. If you love sweet caramelized onions, you are going to love this dip. It is two tablespoons for only 70 calories. I will tell you that not only is this a good dip, but you can spread this on a sandwich or a wrap as a condiment, and it just brings so much flavor. Love, love, love this. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, definitely pick it up. I also wanted to share with you a couple of really good pre-made protein shake options. Both of these are plant-based. Both of these have 20 grams of protein. They're really, really delicious and they have nice clean ingredients. If you didn't know, I do not eat carrageenan because carrageenan is an inflammatory and I avoid that. So a lot of pre-made protein shakes use carrageenan because it's a thickener. It's an emulsifier. So it makes the shakes nice and thick. Now these two do not, and these two are really, really delicious. Starting with this one. This one is probably my favorite. This is from the brand OWYN or only what you need. This is 20 grams of protein, and this is the cookies and cream list. It is 170 calories for the container. This is a great protein shake. It has really good flavor. It has really good ingredients. No chalkiness that you get a lot from plant-based protein. Sometimes I just need an on-the-go snack or meal, and I generally will lean towards protein shakes. I'm just particular on the ingredients. I bought this at Target online. So they don't have this in my store. So I just went ahead and ordered this one as well as the second one I'm going to share with you off of the Target online. So this is from the brand Evolve. And again, this is a plant-based protein. This is in a double chocolate. This one is really good as well. It's 140 calories. What's great about this one is it has 20 grams of protein and 10 grams of fiber. This one I think is a little sweeter, has a little bit more flavor. This one is just chocolatey flavored, kind of like the premier chocolate, but with much better ingredients and no carrageenan. So both of these are really good. Again, I purchased these off of target.com. I'll make sure they're linked down below for you. Not a bad price. I think less than $10 for a four pack. Another yummy Trader Joe's find is the Trader Joe's sprouted wheat sourdough bread. Now this just isn't your mama's bread. This bread is really delicious. It is 90 calories a slice, but what's great about this 
this bread is it has two grams of fiber and seven grams of protein per slice. So if you make a sandwich with two slices, that's 14 grams of protein just in the bread. It is the perfect size. It's nice and dense, but fluffy like bread should be. So, so good. Highly recommend. This has been another snack staple for me, and I pick these up at, off of Imperfect Foods. I'll link Imperfect Foods down below for you guys with $20 worth of free groceries. No minimum order. I actually just got these in my Imperfect Foods order yesterday. And these are the Vital Farms Pasture Raised Hard Boiled Eggs. So you can see that they're already shelled, hard boiled for you. It just makes it convenient. Sometimes I don't have time to make hard boiled eggs, but I love having hard boiled eggs as a snack or as part of my breakfast. And this just makes it super, super convenient. The bay is resealable. You just keep it in your fridge and you always have really good hard boiled eggs on hand. I've been obsessed and I mean obsessed with the new flavor of Verb Energy Bars. You guys already know how much I love Verb, but this is the Red Velvet Cake. Here is what the bars look like, and I have to show you this Red Velvet Cake one. It's so good. So here's the size of the bar, and you can see that it has the look literally of Red Velvet Cake. It smells like Red Velvet Cake. Mmm. It literally tastes like you're eating red velvet cake. No lie. No lie. It's 90 calories, three points. Highly recommend. I will link Verb down below. They have their starter pack on an incredible deal right now. Plus, they had a few promotions for Black Friday, Cyber Monday that may still be going on. Highly recommend Verb. All of their flavors are so good. But this red velvet cake, wow. Here's another find from Imperfect Foods that I have been loving. Now, I know that you can often find this brand at health food stores. You can also find this on the Thrive Market, but this is the Elmhurst Rich and Creamy Oat Nog blended with cashews. It is four ounces for 100 calories. It tastes just like eggnog, but it's better for you. It has better ingredients, less sugar, it is really, really delicious. I like to put a splash of this in a hot cup of coffee to just give me that eggnog vibe but not rack up the points and calories. So good if you're plant-based or you're looking for a plant-based alternative or healthier eggnog alternative, definitely pick up the Elmhurst. Now these are gone. That's how much we like this. This is the Trader Joe's Mini Hold the Cone Ice Cream in the Peppermint. This is my favorite of the Mini Hold the Cones. It is a chocolate cone with peppermint ice cream coated in chocolate. I mean, can we just talk about that? Three of them is 260 calories. One cone is only about 87 calories and three points. So it's a great sweet treat. You're getting the ice cream, the chocolate, the crunch of the cone, just everything together. These sell out really, really quickly. So if you're interested, definitely pick up the peppermint while it's in stock. I just love the little mini sweet treats. It's just a great way to stay on track, but still have a sweet treat. Next up is an energy drink because sometimes we just need a good energy drink. And this one, I actually shared this on my nutrition channel as one of the healthiest options for energy drinks. I will link my nutrition channel down below for you, but this is the Mat Matcha Bar Hustle Matcha Energy Sparkling Lemon and Lime. It has 120 milligrams of caffeine. It only has five calories and it has really, really good ingredients in it. Carbonated water, matcha, green tea extract, lemon extract, lactic acid, lime extract, chloroformium, monk fruit extract. I don't know if I like chloroformium and monk fruit extract. It's really good and it's zero points. It's five calories. It's a healthy energy drink alternative. Now I don't drink these a lot, but like I said, sometimes just maybe before a workout, after a workout on a sluggish afternoon, I need a little bit of energy. Really, really like these. They also have zero sugar and the Hustle brand is so good. And last but not least for W, W Foods is this. And this is the a Nut Pods Creamer in Holiday Nog. Do we sense a theme between the two nogs? I love eggnog. This creamer is delicious. Now I found this at my local grocery store. You may be able to purchase this on Amazon because a lot of the nut pods is sold on Amazon. This tastes like eggnog without the sweetness. So this is an almond and coconut creamer. It is unsweetened and it's dairy free. So it's not going to be sweet like this or sweet like eggnog, but it still gives you that eggnog feeling. And you can use a lot of this in your coffee because it's only 10 calories per tablespoon. So 
so good. So if you can find this for the holidays and you just want eggnog in your coffee for little points and calories, definitely grab the nut pods. So that is everything for WW Food Favorites for November. I do have a couple of home favorites that I want to share with you before we move into beauty and I have some really good beauty things to share with you. So the first thing are these towels. Now I know what you're thinking. Great Jen, you have a little Christmas tea towel. These are from the dollar store. I bought these just the other day. These are the soft this tea towels. They come in tons of cute little Christmas designs. I picked up three different ones. These towels are fantastic quality for a dollar. The imagery on them is really well done. If they don't look cheap, and like I said, they are so incredibly soft. So if you have a dollar near you that isn't sold out of all their Christmas stuff, grab these tea towels. They are amazing. And the other home favorite is actually sitting right behind me. These are the Threshold brand of candles from Target. Now these are three wick candles. The one that I'm burning today is Frosted Holly Berries. It smells so delicious. These candles are only $10. They are just as good as Bath and Body Works and much more affordable. They're three wick. I love the white packaging so you can turn it where you don't see the label and it's just this really pretty elegant white glass packaging. So I went ahead and set it down just so I don't spill hot wax on myself, but they are great candles and you can't beat it for $10. They have all the fun holiday festive scents as well. Now let's jump into my beauty favorites. And like I said, I have some super good stuff to share with you. I have a game changing hair product that you have to know about. So before we jump into makeup and hair care, let's talk perfume because I love fragrance. I love perfume. I wear perfume every day. There may be days that I don't get out of my pajamas, but I still have perfume on. I love to smell good. I love to save money on fragrances. And you know that I love Dossier. I have shared them several times on my channel. I own four or five of their perfumes and I just went ahead and picked up two more. So first a little bit about Dossier. They are a more affordable option to your expensive high-end perfumes. The scents, the notes, the overall vibe of the Dossier perfumes is very, very similar, if not a dead-on match, to the high-end expensive perfumes. The Dossier perfume range from $29 to $39 a bottle, which is at least a 75% savings or more off the high-end scent. And I will tell you that I have some of my favorite high-end scents in the Dossier, and they smell exactly the same. They have the same longevity and wear as the high-end, but you're saving yourself just a ton of money picking up the Dossier alternative. So I decided to grab a couple more scents. I'm going to gift my mom some of the Dossier perfume for Christmas because it's just that good. They make fantastic gifts for yourself or for others, and you feel like you're getting a really expensive gift, but it's super affordable. So I went ahead and ordered the floral grapefruit. So this is inspired by Chanel Chance Odi Tundra Odi Parfum, which is one of my favorite scents from, Chan from Chanel. So the top notes in this are grapefruit, pear, and black currant. So that gives you that kind of fruity vibe. And then the middle notes are hyacinth, jasmine, and lilac. And the base notes are orris, musk, and amberwood. So here's what it looks like. It comes in a nice glass bottle. And here's one feature I love. The lids are magnetized, so they just magnet right on. Dossier definitely gives you that high-end feel for an affordable price. Oh, oh my gosh, that smells so good. That is definitely very, very similar, if not a dead-on match to the Chanel. It's very fresh and bright, but then that back note of that amber is what gives it that eau de parfum smell. So good. The floral grapefruit is absolutely delicious. One of my favorite new scents. And the other one I picked up is the Floriental Almond. Now this is inspired by the Caroline Herrera Good Girl perfume. So if you didn't know, the Caroline Herrera perfume is the one that comes in the high heeled shoe. I'll go ahead and put a picture up here for you guys. It's amazing. It is such a great smelling perfume, but it is super, super super expensive. Notes of the Floriental Almond or the Caroline Herrera is almond and peach are your top notes. Your middle notes are orris, orange blossom, and tuberose, and your base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. So what I really like about the Caroline Herrera perfume is the back end of the tonka bean. It warms up the fragrance a lot, but then you also have the citrusy notes, which are some of my favorites. Oh my gosh. That is so good. 
Wow. That is so good. I smell the tonka bean on the back end. The first thing you smell is like a sweet citrus. And then you get the back end of the tonka bean and the cocoa. I really like this. Like, I think this is the fa my favorite dossier perfume that I've purchased so far. Ooh, I might have to get this one for my mom for Christmas. This again is the Floriental Almond. So I will go ahead and link dossier down below for you guys. With a discount code, you can stack the discount code with any other offer on their website. So sometimes you can stack two or three offers together and get these for even a more affordable price. I mean, I would pay $29 every day for this, but if I can get this for $20 or $15, even better. So of course I'll link a dossier down below for you. Now I have a couple of beauty products to share with you as well, as long with the perfume before we jump into the makeup. And the first one is this face cleanser from the brand Glam Glow. This is their Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. I just pulled this out of my shower. You can see that it's kind of gray colored. I love the smell of it. It smells like a mix between mint and black licorice. Every time I wash my face with this, I'm just like, just the smell is so good. It cleans your skin really well and keep, it makes your skin feel really hydrated after washing. Really, really like this cleanser. I also wanted to share my recent favorite nighttime moisturizer. This is from the brand Murad and this is the City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. This one I like because it has the pump top that you push and it dispenses the product. So it's a little bit more sanitary. This is such a great nighttime moisturizer. I don't know about you, but I want to be greasy and really hydrated when I go to bed, and this does that. This is such a great nighttime moisturizer. Little bit goes a long way. It is pricey. The Murad brand is pricey, but you have to take care of your skin. I mean, you can buy all the makeup you want and put on all the makeup you want, but if the foundation isn't good and healthy, then the makeup doesn't look as good as it should. I'm a big skincare junkie, as you know, and I have to say this is probably my favorite nighttime moisturizer I've ever tried. And here's basically what it looks like. You can see that I've used, oh, at least half of it already. And then I have to share this hair mask with you guys. This has been a complete game changer for me. When I placed an order at Sephora, I got a little tiny sample of this Amika Bust Your Brass Intense Hair Repair Mask, and it sat in my shower and I finally used it and oh my goodness. If you dye your hair, if you have blonde, gray, light hair that gets brassy and orangey and yellowy, you need this in your life. This mask has been a game changer for me. I actually used this in my hair when I washed it just a couple days ago. My blondes are never more blonde. My hair is shiny and healthy. My ends really need a trim look, really good and healthy. This has completely changed the longevity of my hair color, making it last longer. I have to go less often to up my color, to have my color redone, saving money. This is not very expensive for such a great mask. It does have a safety little cap on on it and you can see that the mask itself is purple so it is going to really bust your brass literally if you are looking for a good mask to get rid of that brassiness and that yellowness definitely get the Amica I just buy it on Sephora it'll be linked down below another new to me product that I just recently got on the train for is a lash enhancing serum so this is from the brand Lily lashes so you can see that it has just a really small brush and what you do is one time a day I do it at night since I'm not applying makeup or really doing anything else to my face once I've applied my moisturizer the last step is I'll go in and I'll apply this serum right on my upper lash line do not apply it to your lower lash line when you close your eyes or blink it will automatically transfer a little bit of product it can cause irritation if you apply it to your lower lash line but I put this on my upper lash line and my lashes have grown exponentially over the last two and a half weeks that I've used this product I was skeptical I'm like it's not gonna work no way it works it works so good. I can't believe how much longer my natural lashes are. And mine get kind of short and stumpy because I wear artificial lashes so much. I can't recommend the Lily Lashes Serum more. It is not cheap. It lasts a very long time. This should be several months worth. This is the Level Up Lash Enhancing Serum. So 
shocked at how good this works. Next is my favorite eyeshadow base. This is in the color Painterly, and this is from MAC. So I use this every single time I apply eyeshadow as my base. I find that it really helps with the longevity of the shadow. It's nice and creamy. Any discoloration you have on your lids, it completely eliminates that, just so your shadow sits a lot better. I have tried a lot of eyeshadow bases, and by far, MAC is my favorite. Another one of my favorite go-to everyday products is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. This is in the shade Truffle. I use this to contour. I really, really like the Fenty. It's a very creamy. It blends out really nicely. So I'll apply this to contour out my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead. It adds that little bit of bronze and color to your face. It's not the cheapest contouring option, but it's really good. I've tried a lot of different sticks and I always seem to go back to the Fenty. So I, if you're interested in cream contouring, I would definitely give the Fenty a try. Now this is a newer product to my collection that I actually bought from BoxyCharm in one of their little pop-up sales. This is the Dominique Cosmetics skin glass. It does have a little mirror and here is actually what the product looks like. So it looks a lot like a creamy highlighter, but what is so great about this product is I actually apply this product under my foundation. So I just dab it onto my face with a beauty blender and it just gives you this pretty glow from within. And then you can apply your foundation, blush, bronzer, all of that over the top. And the glossiness and that glow from within still shows through. This is a great product. I got this on a killer deal, but I would absolutely pay full price for this. It's so good, way better than I expected. Another one of my favorite products is the Jaclyn Hill Little Face Duo. It also comes with a mirror. This is a blush and highlighter duo. Let me swatch these for you. This blush is so beautiful. It's the perfect pinky shimmery color. So you can somewhat see the swatches. There's your blush, there's your highlighter. These little duos, these face duos from Jaclyn are such a great deal because you have your blush and your highlighter in one. They're great for travel. They're great if you don't have a lot of storage room. I really, really like this one. This is in the blushes Lilac Love and the highlighter is Top Tan. And again, this is the little Jaclyn Hill Duo. I just buy these on Ulta. I actually have a couple of them. I have this one and I have a little bit darker one. Such a great product. Speaking of blush, I have to say that this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush, isn't that beautiful, is my favorite. What I love about this blush is it is this really, really soft, pinky blush, but it also has a little bit of an iridescence to it. So it's right here on my hand. The lights definitely wash it out, but this definitely, this has a little bit of an iridescence to this. This is the diffused heat. Now Hourglass is not a cheap brand, but this is a really good blush. It kind of serves as your blush and highlighter. So if you look at it in that regards, it's a much more affordable option because it's two makeup products in one, but I have really, really been liking this. And I I definitely want to try out a few more Hourglass products. The foundation that I'm wearing in today's video and one of my favorites, you can actually see here that I have hit pan on this. That's how much I really like this. This is the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Foundation. Again, that's the foundation that I have on today. I like this because a very small amount of this will do your entire face. And when they say full coverage, they mean full cover. It covers any blemishes, discoloration, but it goes on nice and creamy and smooth and really just soaks into your skin rather than sitting on top of it. I have the shade Light 012. I love this foundation. So this is kind of one of my holy grails when it comes to a full coverage foundation. I have to throw in a fun lip product as we approach the holiday season. This is from Ofra Cosmetics. This is their long lasting liquid lip and look at this red. Does this just not scream holiday? This is in the color Vermilion and again this is a liquid lip so it is going to dry down but I think this is one of the prettiest reds. Look at this. 
So it's one of those kind of orangey blue based reds. And what's great about this particular color of red on your lips is it makes your teeth look really white. So I really, really like this. I think this is going to be perfect for the holidays. Ofra is such a great brand and they always are running sales. You can buy this at Ulta. You can buy this on the Ofra website. But again, this is in the shade Vermilion. Perfect for the holidays. And of course, we have to end out my beauty favorites with my eyeshadow palette favorite of the month, which is actually the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes today. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a close up. I used the greens and blues in the palette. And this is from the indie brand called Blend Bunny. And this is their Surge palette. I love a good indie brand. That basically means independent brand. So they're independently owned, unlike brands like Too Faced, Clinique, Wet n Wild, Essence. Those are all mainstream brands. This is an indie brand. So it's independent independently owned. It's actually owned by an influencer. Look at how beautiful this palette is. It is a true rainbow palette. You do have some more pastel mattes. You have your deep grungy mattes. You have your deeper grungy mattes, all your shimmer shades, and then you have an entire row of neon shadows. So on my eyes today, I have this green called Alive this bluey color here called Rush. And then I have Lush in the outer corner to kind of deepen it up. And then on my lid, I have the Shimmer Shade Limitless and underneath. And then I have this really pretty color flash on my inner corner. And that's how I got this look today. Everything about this palette is amazing. The mattes are great, the shimmers are great. They're a nice soft shimmer, so they're better applied with a fingertip than a brush. This palette is fan. Fantastic. I actually own her blends palette, which is an entire matte palette, which you guys know I love that. I've shared it on my beauty channel lots of times, but you can't go wrong with the Surge palette. I'll link it down below if it's still available. Just really good formula, really affordable, and super nice to support an indie brand. Those are all of my November favorites. We have WW Foods, Home, Beauty, Perfume, you name it. We had it in today's video. I'll make sure again, everything is linked down below other than what you can buy at your local grocery store. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box for the 2022 calendar. Don't miss out on that. As well as my four recipe eBooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you join that community as well. Happy December, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.